In today's video we're going to talk about Sketchfab and in Motion 2022 preview. My name is Katarina, I'm a graphic designer and I'll see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video it's all dedicated to Sketchfab, one of the latest updates from the Twinmotion 2022.2 preview. So if you haven't updated your Twinmotion version, please do. And what you'll find is in your library, like it happens with the Quixel Megascan library inside the Twinmotion um, library, default library of materials, of uh, 3D objects that you have available inside Twinmotion, you have now a Sketchfab uh, library. So this is a library inside the library. So like it works, exactly like it works with Pixel Megascan, nothing is downloaded already in the default library. So you need to pick and choose because there is, uh, I don't know, hundreds of models. I'm not sure of the number, but there are a lot of them. A lot of them very game related. Um, so it always is a little bit a little bit like Quixel Megascan, but it is all very uh, gaming kind of environment and cartoons and things like this, uh, characters, um, a lot of Mandalorians, uh, things like that. Okay, so you need to go and search. Uh, it's going to take a little bit. You have divided by categories, but we'll go there in a bit. Um, but it's really helpful that nothing is downloaded, so it's not really heavy on your software, on your workflow. Uh, you just download the ones you really want to use. Okay. Uh, just a quick, uh, a quick uh, side note. Now environment is the sky domes. So remember the sky domes. You have skies. You have now like indoor environments. I will do. Um, a video about this, not really related if you work with the outdoors, but anyway, just a, a, a quick side note, and this is studio, so um, it basically works, I haven't tried it on yet, so, but it basically works like creating a dome and environment in a, in a setting that you choose, okay, so let's go a bit and explore Sketchfab, so Sketchfab library, is divided in these categories, uh, animals and pets, architecture, art and abstract, cars and vehicles, characters and creatures, cultural heritage and history, electronics and gadgets, fashion and style, food and drink, furniture and home. Some good outdoor furniture that I, I, I've seen here. Uh, music. I'm not sure how it, this would work. Um, yeah, just instruments. For a second I thought it was actual music. Um, but anyway. Uh, nature and plants, that's the one that we're gonna see. And news and politics, people, places and travel, science and technology. So really interesting and random stuff as well. Uh, I'm not sure um, sometimes uh, how you're gonna use this, okay? Uh, but we're gonna explore a little bit. Places and travel, science and technology, sports and, fit and fitness and weapons and military. So every time you come in here and you want to you want to see so this is the ones you've, I've downloaded and they appear first okay just a, a quick side note so as you can see you have l really weird stuff random stuff some characters I'm not sure why they are in nature in plants um, things like this so I, I think this is really cool uh, but I'm you know for me, um, Quixel Megascan library is definitely better. Um, every time you like one, don't forget to add a little heart because it's easier. You can just come here after in the category and you see the ones you've added the heart. So it's really easy to, to, to see the ones you actually think they are usable for you. Um, because I, I suggest that every time you have a free, a bit of free time, come here and explore a little bit. Uh, the way I will do it is actually, I'm going to show you next, is actually go and see first in the Sketch uh, in Sketchfab website. I think it's easier to actually search for what you're looking for. And then with that name of that model, specific model, you come here and you search for it. Okay, because there is no use to actually adding, uh, because a lot of things, they are not with the actual names of the plants or they are just with generic 
names so you're really not going to see a lot of specific species of plants like you would like if you're a garden designer or a landscaper but you actually have really cool little details like patches of grass really really nice so i'm just gonna go and search for something uh, just to show you how you download it. So this uh, tropical plant. Okay, let's just go and download and you can see here is downloading Down, Then you drag and drop is gonna create the object. Okay Another little thing uh, not like the quixel mega scan, but this ones uh, These sketchfab models a lot of them. They are out of scale when once you download them in inside twin motion so don't forget you need to come here to the scale and you just you know estimate the scale of the plant they are in general good quality plants um don't forget that you have here the scene map so you can um can just scale the plant so uh, they are in general uh, good quality models okay don't forget that Sketchfab uh, works a little bit as a, a marketplace. So people actually uh, do models and sell them in that platform. So as you can see here, I have put, you can put a little heart or not. Okay. Um, and yeah, now you have that model every time you want it. Okay. So you have really weird stuff. And if you want to explore uh, what, I, what I suggested, you want a bit more detail before you actually download it to your, to your PC, you can open the models in a sketch. Let's do this one just by curiosity. So it opens in Sketchfab um, website the model so you can actually explore here and it's a really uh, cool platform a lot of um, um, ar uh, models you can explore but what i will say is actually come here to sketchfab learn a bit about the website uh, how it works it has really interesting models uh, but uh, I don't think as a garden designer or landscape architect there's going to be a lot for you here. Uh, but I will, I will just search things like plants in general, for example. Okay. So if you see something you like, try and see if they have it in the platform. Some of the models, they are not available in the Sketchfab. Uh, I found in Sketchfab inside Twin Motion, so you need to go and search for it. Okay. Uh, for example, I'm not sure if it's only all the models here are paid. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I will need to find out uh, what models they are inside. What's what's actually uh, the way they choose the models that they are available for Twin Motion users? Because some of the models I found in the platform they are not available inside Twin Motion. So you need to go and see for yourself so let's uh, let's see this one for example we go inside and we search for indoor plants uh, pack 23 for example let's see if you find something let's take the 23 out so not really oh sorry indoor is written wrong indoor pack 23 so not really helpful because it didn't found that once but it found a lot of plants so you know we just need to this is just going to take you a while to see which um no uh, sorry, was this one. Uh, uh which one which are the models that you actually want to use uh that they are think are useful for you in the future um it's going to take you a while because as you can see the search thing is not really um working well i think this is a, a 3d warehouse model actually here um so yeah between the 3d warehouse the quixel mega scan and now this one sketch uh, fab um you're gonna have a uh, plenty of options in terms of planting um don't forget none of them um actually um have um uh, you can't really um 
you can't really have the wind effect on them okay so and every time you download so this is a, a bit of, of a pain every time you actually want to use it again is with the original scale so what i will do if you needed to change the scale of the plant for example like uh, this tropical plant we we downloaded what i will do is actually have the definite scale okay more or less and now I'll add it to my user library like this. Okay, so now we go to our user library. So if you need to change the scale, I just think it's it's uh, it's better. If we go to our user library, let's go and see. Now it's with that scale. Okay, so I think it's an easier way to actually um, save the uh, the plants you want. Okay. If you don't want to add them as favorite or if you need to keep changing scale of the plant. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm like, look, this one is, is from there as well. I think they're pretty cool. I like this really realistic patches of grass. So if you want, not for all, all over the place use like, but if you want to have like a spot and, and um, actual rendering that you show a little bit, I will do a rendering like this, just for you to see. The quality is really good. It's really, really realistic as you can see. Okay, I'm talking about this patch of grass with the dead leaves and things like this and nettles. So you have things like this it's very game oriented okay you have a lot of things for um for example characters and things like this um that you know you're never going to use this i believe um but you have really cool stuff uh and of course you know again you need to go and search and see what things you really want um i haven't tried yet i know they have for example um, I saw a really cool one in, um, I think, Animals and Pets. I'll, I'll just quickly show you. But I haven't tried it yet. It is taking a bit to download. But if you see this tiger, for example, if I open in Sketchfab website, they, it's really animated. I'm not sure how it will work in, in Twinmotion. I see the quality of this uh, tiger. It's really, really cool. Um, so as you can see here, it's unit sketch fab, uh, sketch have a uh, house. So these ones, they are definitely inside the platform as it, and as you can see here, uh, I believe they are free, uh, to download. Um, let me just check. Yeah. So I think this might be the ones that are inside Twinmotion and all the other users uh, that uh, upload here in this platform to sell. They are not available, of course, because they're trying to sell them. Uh, so if you want to check it out, the, the models that you can purchase as well, go to the Sketchfab uh, website. I really want to see this tiger in Twinmotion, uh, but I couldn't download it for some reason. I tried three times. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, not sure if it will work, you know, inside Twinmotion. Okay, let me know what you think uh, and explore when you have free time because when you're working actually with deadlines in your project, in your renderings, you're not going to have time to, you know, it's a very complicated place uh, to search for something that you want immediately. immediately. Uh, so you need to go and see uh, and have a little bit of time to explore, download the models, save them in your user library with the right scale. So, you know, that's that's the way to go, I believe. Uh, so let me know what you think. And don't forget, you have the twin motion roadmap where you have all the let me just road. Oh, Jesus. Roadmap portal okay that you have all your uh your up and coming substance source that's pretty cool in progress so you know twin motion and sketch fab and you can see all the 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 novelties so export visualize and share 3d scenes and models twin motion to sketch fab uh this way your projects become instantly accessible on all media desktop okay so this is pretty cool this is in progress so this is the other way around so right now we have sketch fab inside twin motion 
and this is the other way around if you want to show your model uh, to a client for example inside the sketchfab platform like the other models we've seen um, it can work that way i believe that's what they are saying so but if you want to explore uh, the the roadmap uh, please do sketch up, uh, sketch fab assets into in motion library bringing your scene to life is essential but making necessary the necessary 3D objects is time consuming and expensive. By connecting Sketchfab to Twin Motion Library, you will have access to hundreds of thousands of models of all types. So that's the thing. Okay? Let me know what you think. See you guys in the next video.